Welcome back to the Renegade booth at Gen Con 2018. This is Active Player Network. I am your host, Community Manager, Ann Richmond, and I'm here again with the lovely Danny, who is expertly getting us hooked on some awesome new games. So let's talk about Gun Kimono War Tales. Yes. So Gun Kimono is a retheming of Heartland, which was a game that was released a few years ago exclusively in Germany. So it's been really hard to find over here. Um, that game was all about vegetables, and we rethemed this abstract tiling, cutthroat game into samurai theme. Which it doesn't, I think... doesn't get more cutthroat than the Daimo. Like... This is true, right? Uh, it's so cutthroat that we have a little samurai sword to... Uh, That's very Not cool. cutthroats with, but to... How does this come into play in the game? First player token. Okay, well, it's the best first player <laughs> yes. token that I have seen. Not excessive at all. Awesome. So we each take up our own kind of faction? Is that, what yes. do these represent? We are Daimyo, and okay. we are spreading our troops across the land trying to control some territory. Awesome. So, so we're going to do that with these tiles. So we have a hand of three tiles. On our turn, we're going to play one on the board. There's two halves of it. So depending on where, how we place it, how we choose to score, we can either just gain pure victory points, or we can go up on this other track, the honor track. And so what I've heard is that there's, of course, the um, plot for world domination, but there's also strongholds as well. Yes. So what we're doing is trying to connect the same color into a big old block. The trick with tile placing is that I can't cover up the same color and I can't place it, you know, okay. tilted like that. And it can't be diagonal. So it's super simple. But I'm trying to expand my empire into this big swath of green right now. How do I know which one is your empire? Is it the red? because you're red or? It will be. Okay. So right now, no one owns this territory. We're just adding to it, expanding it, getting points. So okay. I'd be getting victory points for all of the touching green. Okay, Because Great. I placed a tile with green. Got right? it, got it, okay. Um, these red symbols on the tiles is what's going to move me up on the honor track. So I'm gonna score for green here. The other half of my tile is blue. I don't necessarily want just three points. I want the two honor points on the tile. So if I take the honor points there, I'll go up two. We have strongholds here. Okay. If all of my little dudes right here make it this far, I get a stronghold, and then I can place it on any territory. Okay, and that's where, after you've built out the connecting colors, then once you've placed your stronghold, then you've claimed that territory for yourself. Yes, so now okay. no one else can score for this swath of green. Only I do, and I generate points each turn, which means you don't like that. You do not want me to be genera generating points each round, so you're going to start covering up my little patches of green, shrinking my empire. Okay, so I have to admit, as someone who puzzling and patterning it makes me really scared as a gamer. I don't know if there's anyone out there who feels the same way. Uh, what is kind of the, the time commitment? How easy is it to start picking up and playing? Yeah, so it's so easy that here at Gen Con, we keep switching players in and out of the demo table. Like we're like, all right, you do this, this, and this in your turn, play. So it's super simple. It plays up to five players. The other night I played a full five player game and it only took us an hour. Wow. Yeah, so typically uh, games with five players last forever, but this one, it just, it books along. And it just kind of clips along. Everybody's taking their turns. You said it's super a super simple turn. How many phases are? We're going to play until all of these tiles are depleted. And then we have this stack. It has this tile somewhere in these is the Gun Kimono logo, okay. and that signifies the end of the game. All right. So once this is revealed, then we finish the round. Okay. And, and that most will points wins. tell us, is this the tracker to see how many victory points we're getting as we score? Yep. Okay, yep. so every time you're scoring, you're moving along the track, the last round, as we always experience in victory point games, it can be anyone's game up until the very end sometimes. Yeah. Um, especially because our strongholds score every round. Yeah. Um, however, a mark of a really well-balanced game, in my opinion, is how close the scores are at the at the end. Yeah. How you know the differences between them. So in this five-player game I played, first and second were one point apart. 
I was not too great. I was third place, 15 points behind. Fourth and fifth were 15 points behind me, and they were only one point apart. Wow. So really so even distribution. That is a really even distribution mm -hmm. across the board, literally. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's really awesome. Um, when can we expect to see this? Is this out already? Almost. This releases on August 29th in local game stores across the country. That's super exciting. So by the time you're watching this, you might be able to just turn off the video and go play Gun Kimono. Yeah. <laughs> well, I want to play. Let's play. Let's play. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here on Active Player Network. Now it's your turn to get the game because we're going to be giving away a copy. You can take a look at the info below the video for how you can enter for your chance to win. If you liked the video, please go ahead and subscribe to us on YouTube at youtube.com slash activeplayernetwork. Make sure you don't miss out on blogs, vlogs, and giveaways by heading over to our Facebook fan page, facebook.com slash activeplayernetwork, and hitting the like button. Join our discussions on Twitter at ActivePlayerNet and follow our antics on Instagram at ActivePlayerNetwork. We'll see you next time on Get the Game. Play on.